Let's welcome Kathy Holly and Spotlight. Hi, everybody. Oops. Oh, there we go. Welcome to Spotlight tonight. I have two fabulous guests, musicians, composers, singers, uh, multiple musicians. I mean, it's incredible. Over here, I have Rita Abrams, who's one, well, she's an Emmy Award winner. And I can't wait to talk to you about all the musicals you've written. Oh, Pride and Prejudice, uh, For Whom the Bridge Tolls, and we could go on and on. <laughs> and over here, I have Mr. Florence McCarthy. The man called Florence. A I love that. Florence. A man called Florence. <laughs> so I thought I'd start with you, Florence, tonight. Now, I know that you, is it me that has the accent or you? No, you've got an accent. I've got the accent, yeah, of course. Me. I just wanted to know where you were from. I don't think I ever asked you. Where did you come uh, from? Originally from London. London. From London. London, Eng England, yeah. Fabulous. And you are a wonderful musician. I first saw Florence at the Italian American Social Club in San Francisco, and I was so impressed with your playing guitar and harmonica, which is great. And so tell me about the kind of music you do, how you got started in music. Um, I come from, my dad was a professional musician, and we all played, my family, you know, and oh, so, great. and when I was about 14, 13, I started busking on the street, and then I fronted bands, and Stuff. In, in, in England, England yeah, in England. yeah. And, and a little bit of Europe, yeah, and uh, yeah, I did that for many, many years, and then of course you have to get a job as well. You no, know. <laughs> that is a job. Yeah, but it was actually, it was a great, <laughs> great job. I, you know, and busking is not, I guess, as popular now. No. So what years were those, 60s? 70s. 70s? 70s. They still yeah. did a lot of that, that's wonderful, yeah. I think that's so much fun. And then when you, uh, you came over to the United States? Uh-huh, yeah. And how did that happen? Um, well, basically, I came on holiday, and then um, I was offered a job. Um, uh, so I applied for a card, and they said yes. And, Good. And, uh, I became uh, was a stonemason here for quite a long time. Fantastic. And a carpenter, and then I got a contractor's license. And another, see, yeah. another talent. You're multi-talented. <laughs> what type of music? Did you play when you were in England? And the, what do you play now? Is it similar or what yeah, do you? Yeah, you know? most mostly, um, I suppose, um, f Irish folk uh, based, oh. you know. And then Bob Dylan, of course, because I like Bob Dylan a lot. And, oh, um, great. And then whatever I could think of, really. I mean, I spent a lot of time making stuff up on the spot, especially like busking, because. You know, yeah. You don't want to play the same song over and over again. Of so course not. You so just make up whatever's oh, comes improv. to mind. Oh, improv. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. An actor right here in our midst. Another <laughs> actor. That's so. That's great. Well, I sure grew up. I grew up with the folk era, and I love Irish music, uh -huh. and I think it's so much fun. We should have a revival. Now, can you do something tonight with your twelve string? Yeah. And your yeah, I'll, I'll do a little bit of a Bob Dylan song. Or oh, which one? I'll do. Um, you're going to make me lonesome when you go. Oh, oh, great. I don't even remember this one. Yeah. Go ahead. Charm us with your music. Okay. All right, here he is. Uh. Lawrence McCarthy. <laughs>
Applause, applause, applause. I love it. How do you play the harmonic at the same time that you play the guitar? I don't know. No, do I? It's just great. It's really great. Who taught you the harmonica? No one. You uh, just picked well, it up? Bob Dylan records, probably. My brother was a big influence on me. Oh, you know. I mean, he taught me, oh. he gave me a guitar and taught me E minor so that he could, you know. Do his stuff, you know. So does he professionally uh, perform to He's another singing? builder and he's a player and uh, he's still in England. You know? Well, you are wonderful. I love it. What's your favorite type of music to do? Favorite uh, style? I, my favorite type of music is making it up on the spot. Really? Because yeah. when I heard you at the Italian... I was making it uh, up on the spot. <laughs> no, you were singing. There were Elvis songs that night. I like a, a big genre of music, but I must admit... Um, I get the most pleasure out of just making it up. You know. Well, I don't know. You did write a song. You did have a wonderful song that I heard. It's about San Francisco, uh -huh. and the name of it is? It's uh, San Francisco, Where People Walk My Way. Now, how did you ever decide to write that song? Well, I was here. I had a, I had a little bit of a, um, a lull, if you like. You know, I was waiting for a job to happen, and uh, I went for a walk, and I walked to the Embarcadero and all around San Francisco, but 6th yes. Street and 3rd Street and all that. And I saw the colorful life of San Francisco. And Definitely. I saw some, some sights, and when I got home, I, um, I had this tune running through my head, so I just wrote it down. Well, it's great. Let's take a listen to it. I think it's wonderful, and we happen to have the audio. And this is on your album, yep. your CD, yep. right? So if we can play that, that would be terrific. Here we go. A man called Florence writes. I was walking down Third Street just the other day. I heard a black voice beside me speak. I think he said he I turn around to see him crossing the street Cars all screeching too hard Yeah, then I realized I knew him He had his head in the sky, that's all But I better get on now Keep on walking down that road Better get on now. Better go, go back home. Wow, I love it. <laughs> it's great. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I think you. the hook is better get on now. Yeah, keep right? on walking down that keep road. Keep on walking down that road, which you are doing. We're all doing that. Yeah. But it's a great song. Thank There's you. another one I see on the cover of the CD. Oh, first of all, where can anyone buy it? Uh, it's on iTunes at, uh, now. Great. Yeah, yeah, under that title. And uh, you can listen to it on Spotify and most airplay stations have it now. They do? Yeah. How do you get it on an airplay station? Uh, I, my sound engineer told me, go to this company and they'll do it for you. Well, so. we have to talk. Yeah. I think it would be wonderful to get something. I uncovered some songs I wrote in the 70s when I was in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. They're nothing like that, though, I have to tell you. That, that's a great song, and the rhythm is great. Cool. I like bum, that. Ba -da -bum, ba. So what is your goal, do you think, with music? Do you have any Just definite? keep playing and until I can't play no more. That's, and you just love it. doing it then? Yeah. More as a hobby. I mean, it um, isn't 24 no, it's, hours it's, a day. No, it's, part, it's life. It's not a hobby. It's, it's, it's part, part of, of life. Me. Well, that's so great. You know, it's, it's just like, like so, same as my contracting business, it's life, you know. Well, the amazing thing is that you also do other things, you know, right, to make a living too. I yeah. mean, it's wonderful. You, what, uh, tell us what you do, carpentry, <laughs> but what do you do in carpentry? Um, well, well, I do everything from framing to, to finishing. So I, I, do, um, I do the carpentry, I do the, 
um, tile work, I do the masonry, you know, I do, I do it. Here, here. I'm basically a general, okay. general contractor. And then I saw something else about you, you're a masseur. Oh yes, I just, uh, I got certified um, just about a year ago as a, as a San Francisco massage therapist. That is wonderful. Yeah. Boy, when my neck gets but, uh, stiff, I'll have to call San you. San Francisco <laughs> School of Massage. But that's, that's where I went. That's great. Yeah. You know, but I wish you the best, and I plan to see you because you're going to be performing again uh -huh. at the Italian. Oh yes, definitely. Social club. Yeah, March when the third. March third. Yeah. And everybody out there has to know it's not. You don't have to pay. No, I mean, it's no, wonderful. It's, 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 all, just, it's just. It's all just free. Walking. <laughs> uh, you walk in and you can order. Great restaurant too. It is great. The food is terrific yeah. and it's open now. It's not all private because it's open to the public Wednesday through uh -huh. uh, Fridays. And I know that, you know, it's wonderful to hear music. The people I love are really it. nice too. They're wonderful. Yeah. I'm going to be there too again this month. Yeah. Oh, so well, February 23rd. You, I hope you I'm was great. Fabulous. I, I'm looking you forward to it. You have a wonderful voice. Thank you. I'm, hap I'm happy you're coming. Mm -hmm. Boy, there's one more person in the audience. And your wife, too. Yes. Great, wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Florence, it was wonderful having you on the show. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, we're not finished yet because I want to turn around here and say hi to Rita Abrams. Oh, my gosh, hi, Rita. Kathy. Hi, it's great to have you on. I, I have to put my glasses on because I know that you have written just some of the on your website, these are some of the stage shows. Pride and Prejudice, which is recent. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Mm -hmm. New Wrinkles, For Whom the Bridge Tolls. And of course, you've written for custom and corporate companies. Right, I mean and there's an, a brand new show called Just My Type, which, is, which I've written the music for, which was written by uh, Charlotte Jacobs and Michael Sally. And that's a very intriguing little show because it's two people who enact 10 characters. Oh, so it's a tr they, they, they play a husband and wife therapist, and they enact their different clients that they've had in therapy through the years. And, we've, and so I wrote 21 songs for it, so that's the when latest thing. When is this going to It, it We're just seen. kind of getting it out there now, so we, we, don't, have a, we don't have any dates no yet. No venue yet? Yeah. Is always it cast? Looking for, always looking for the producer or the agent who will of course who help will to put your things in circulation but meanwhile you do them yourself and yes in yeah. the meantime you will do a performance somewhere right of course right oh well we'll have to talk after the show uh, has it already been cast uh no no it's i mean it's we've got the show it's it's like with any show that you write you you hope that it'll get a good cast you hope it'll be pr produced right. in a great theater with with a great you know and or you you create your own cast. Well, now I want to ask you because people that don't know about your work need to know about it. Where did you, when did you start writing musicals? Well, I've, I mean, I've written since I was probably like Florence. I mean, I've, I've, all my life, you know, since I was a little little girl of five years old, I was writing uh, poems, and then I wrote my first song when I was fourteen, and um, and then I just happened to. I mean, I tried to do, um, you know, to get into music. I was, I was mm -hmm. in graduate school in Boston and I, we put together a girls band called The Three Faces of Eve. Oh, I and, love it. Uh, oh. And then, you know, we all had some almost and then nothing happened. And then I started teaching um, school. I started teaching preschool and uh, was very happy doing it. And I thought, I'm a teacher. I'm not ever gonna be a mm -hmm. professional musician. And, if, and then I came out here to teach in Mill Valley, and that's when I be, that's when it happened. I wrote a simple little song about Mill Valley. Oh, perfect! Um, one I Christmas know. Day, and I, I wrote it so that my my kindergartners could sing it. Well, we happen and to have that clip. Yeah, let's yeah, just have, uh, let's right. show it now right. because and, and that the, is so timely. Yes, and and then what what happened was I I I had been introduced to this big time record producer Eric Jacobson who had produced. Uh, the Love, Love and Spoonful and Tim Harden and mm -hmm. and it just happened that he ended up producing the little record with me and the kids and and it turned into um, an international hit. Isn't that fantastic? It and shows. I think the clip the clip that you have is was was actually made. Warner Brothers commissioned this young filmmaker named Francis Ford Coppola to make this film. For, for foreign Francis quote Ford? exploitation. Oh my of the gosh, so. this is amazing. Then <laughs> yeah. we we have to see this. It goes back a little ways, right? Quite a couple a ways. of years. Well, let's take a look at Mill Valley. This is the song, everybody. The video. <laughs> Mill Valley, where people are 
that is the cutest video <laughs> and the greatest video. I saw it, of course. You know, I've seen it before. Uh -huh. I was just thinking, how was it in the 70s? Yes, it was 19, It came out in 1970. Because I thought the hair, you know, I watched the, the yes. fellas in it, and I was thinking. Oh, but uh, the kids are so great. And Our the, children wonderful. The kids, and we, we just, uh, a couple years ago, we had a reunion at uh, the Throckmorton Theater in Mill Valley, and a, a good number of those kids who are now many of them are grandparents oh, oh um, they came and we you know we did we did a presentation of all the memories and the, oh, we, we had just huge so media i mean it was life magazine and rolling oh. stone and it, it was a phenomenon and it got played all over the world and 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 broadcast oh, and great. recorded in different languages it was just really now, do you a get phenomenon. residuals from that well, I, I mean, I did over the years, and yeah. I, I don't really now, but it, it was never, it was what they call a turntable hit. It was never, it never made a huge amount of money, uh -huh. but, um, but, but it, it made a career for me, it for did, sure. It really did. That just launched you into writing musicals yeah. then, right? Yeah. Well, then, and yeah. then it was a long time before I started writing musicals. I wrote a lot of children's albums, and... Um, I see that here in pop yeah. songs, yes. novelty songs. Right, right. You know, Grandma... Right, right. I, I wrote a lot with by um, a reindeer? Elmo of Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, um, that, that famous Christmas song. He and yes. I wrote about 25 years worth of funny, you know, holiday songs, Christmas songs, and and that's done popular. Lots of yeah. You know, I, I I write scripts for Velocity Entertainment, Greg Angelo's company, and um, well, this it's been very a very varied. Very, very career. We want to see something else now because you, the one of the musicals that you did recently that you wrote music for, and, you know, I saw it at Fort Mason. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to leave early, but I did see the first act, and it was Pride and Prejudice. Mm -hmm. And right, you were part of that. Just tell me very briefly, how did you, how did that right, ever happen right. that you ended up? Well, doing Josie Brown uh, came to me and and was starting to write this musical. Uh, who was trying to write the script for this Pride and Prejudice? She wanted me to write songs for it, and at that that was right before the big Jane Austen craze. Oh, hit. it was. Yeah, it was so a craze. So people <laughs> now think we got on the bandwagon, but in fact we were. You know, nobody was even doing that then. And, um, well, and in fact, in fact, my boyfriend at the time said, "Why would you? Why do you want to do this? Nobody's interested in Jane Austen." <laughs> so great. Oh, but well, it took that long, you know, yeah. to to really get it finished and get it out there, and and so now it's a musical. Well, I want to watch show everybody mm -hmm. here who's you know watching the show that this is the opening number. Yes, and, and this, by the way, this production was produced by I Am Theater. Um, they were the ones who put this production together, so they're responsible for all the production values. And well, fantastic! They did a really nice. They did job a great job. Mm -hmm. And here we are, Rita Abrams writing the opening song, mm -hmm. one of many. I love it. I love it. Well, it's great to have the applause, and you well deserve it. I just, I, I'm just so impressed with the different styles. 
that you do. And of course, the novelty songs, like There's Not One Decent Deli, is that, that's <laughs> one of my favorites. And then, of course, the Golden Gate Bridge song. I love that song. And you sing it very well, Thank too. you so much. Yeah. Well, thanks to you. So we, you've really blessed a lot of we entertainers with your music, oh, believe it or not. It's you. true. And I know that I want to get up to the current um, so, well, mm -hmm. song mm -hmm. and video mm -hmm. that we're going to see shortly about Sanctuary City, mm -hmm. because that is a big topic right now. Mm -hmm. And when did you write that? And Well, I wrote the San Francisco song. There was a contest, a San Francisco song contest. It's too bad you didn't know about it. Oh. <laughs> and, um, about it. and that was some time ago, and um, I, I won, I guess, honorable mention. It was one of the radio stations had it. And then someone recently suggested that, that it would be a good song to go with this Sanctuary City concept, in which, of course, yes. I am very much behind. Yeah. And so we, we put some footage of some of the great marching that was, has been happening yes. and some of the very right. inspiring speeches by Mayor Ed Lee. And, um, and we kind of married that with the, with the song. And, and this, this, again, was produced by Greg Angelo, Velocity. Um, entertainment and and we just we just did this and it's, so it's on yes. YouTube and it's very very good I wanted to play we can't play all of it right we're gonna run out of time but right. definitely let's play what we can and I was just gonna say did you play the piano on this one and sing too I did play but it was uh, it, it was very much orchestrated by Frank Martin he did a lot of the, the oh, track Frank Martin I've heard brilliant, of him don't think I've met him but he's yeah very good Arranger. musician. So let's hear um, San Francisco mm -hmm. Sanctuary City, mm -hmm. right? And see it. See it and hear it. As one city, we stand united and we will help protect all of our immigrant families. When you find yourself far from the world you know, traveling on a journey without end. I'm sorry, but you know we we just don't have time to play. It. But it is so enchanting. I love watching that. It's done beautifully. Thank you. I, I must say it was my first foray into actually editing um, footage to go with you know with the music, and it's very challenging. Very. To I can edit imagine. one minute and forty seconds mm -hmm. took us about thirty hours. All right, Amazing. everyone out there, you see how much work goes into this? <laughs> Everybody thinks, right. I want to do that. That's easy. Yeah, No, exactly. it, it takes a long time. Yeah. I mean, I've done some, you know, video fun, fun kind of things that didn't take that long. Right. But when you really uh, think about it, yes, if putting the two together. If you want to be detailed in, in that kind of work, you really have to take your time. You it's know? just... It's really amazing. You've done so much. All right, now tell me about what's coming up then. You said, it, d tell us about the new show again, uh, the new one that's going to be. Well, that's Just My Type. Just uh, My Type. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing a, a mini uh, kind of a reading of that at the Mill Valley Outdoor Art Club coming up. But that's, oh, that's, I'd love to hear that because uh, I'm a theater person, so do invite me anytime. <laughs> <laughs> I would love okay. to. And is it comedic? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, everything be. I do has has humor in it for sure. Well, you know what? Uh, We're gonna. W I would love to be able to take everyone with me to hear both of you, but I guess you know we can't do that. So I'm encouraging the audience to watch when we put our contacts up on the screen and gigs coming up, of great. course, for Florence. And then I'm doing my own one woman show. You know, March 31st, I'm going to yes, be at Society Cabaret, and I may call you for some tips and writing. Um, it's really difficult to do this, but I thank everybody for joining us. There it is on the screen, how to get a hold of everybody. And if you want to be a guest on my show, you know what to do. You can contact me. There I am. And Rita, thank you so much for being on the show. Rita Abrams. You're very welcome. Composer, lyricist, writer, everything. And the same Florence McCarthy. 
and it's just great. I wish we could go on and on forever. I know that I have about, I think, one minute. Is that how much I have left to talk? Well, any last pointers for young artists, young composers that you want to You have to really love what you do because it is not easy to make a life and a career and a living doing it. Thank you. You have to really love it and enjoy the process, right? Exactly. It becomes, it's really a passion. It's a passion out there. Right. It, you, if you have a young person in your family that wants to do music, wants to write, wants to do theater, I will please encourage them. It's got to, sorry, you've got to do it continually, and you never give up. Right. Doesn't mean you're going to be world famous, maybe, but the point is, if it's a passion, right. you'll feel better. You'll feel better about yourself. And there's you one know. more thing: buy a house. Oh, <laughs> buy a house. If, if yeah, and invite me over for tea. Uh, Keep smiling. Keep smiling, whatever we do. Keep smiling, <laughs> yes. I know. See you all next time, everybody. I know we're going to have some great guests next show. And keep tuning in, please. Thank you, PCT. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Go, go. You mixed up Siciliano Are you Genovese to the mambo Like a crazy with a hey mambo Don't want a tarantella Hey mambo No more a mozzarella Hey mambo Mambo Italiano Try an enchilada with the fish and bacala